Hello friends, welcome to Bar Chem Tech. Today I am going to talking about or discuss about the classification of hydrocarbon. So at first, what is hydrocarbon? So hydrocarbons or organic compounds are those compounds which are composed of mainly carbon and hydrogen atom. And in organic chemistry, there are huge number of organic compounds. So how to classify these compounds? So classification of hydrocarbon or organic compound depending upon the structure of the compound, number of bond in between carbon and carbon atom, okay, or the element present other than carbon and hydrogen atom. So we have come to the point how to classify these organic compounds. So now come to the chart. Here hydrocarbon or organic compound at first broadly classified into two main classes. First one is the acyclic compound or open chain compound. Second is the cyclic compound or closed chain compound or ring compound. All three are same. Okay. All three are same. Now acyclic compound or cyclic or means not cycle or means not or cyclic not cyclic compound or open chain compound means ends of the compound are free okay ends of the compounds are free open chain compound now or cyclic compound or open chain compound further divided into two sub classes straight chain compound or branch chain compound okay two main sub -class. now here three example straight chain compound or here also three branch chain compound here so straight chain compound means no any carbon bonded with the two, more than two carbon atom the organic compound in which no any carbon atom bonded with the two other carbon atom so here this carbon bonded only two other carbon atom not more than two in all three example you can see here the carbon atom bonded with the maximum number of carbon 2 okay this carbon bonded with the first one and the third one here also this carbon bonded with the first one and third one so not more than 2 but in the case of the branch chain compound you can see here this central carbon bonded with the three other carbon atom 1 2 and 3 here also this central carbon atom bonded with three other carbon atom here also this carbon bonded with the three other carbon means more than two carbon atom this way you can distinguish branch chain compound or straight chain compound now straight chain compound or branch chain compound both may be saturated or unsaturated here the term is what saturated unsaturated Okay, now the term is saturated or unsaturated. Okay, so what do you mean by the saturated or unsaturated? Saturated means the compound in which carbon carbon single bond present, then the compound is saturated. Okay, if the bond in between carbon and carbon, either double bond or triple bond, then the compounds are said to be unsaturated. Here, this example also, these are the unsaturated, because here the carbon carbon double bond, here the carbon carbon triple bond. The compound in which the bond in between carbon carbon, either double bond or triple bond, then compound are said to be unsaturated. Okay, and then if the compound in, in which the compound the compound in which bond between carbon carbon single bond then compound so are said to be saturated now saturated so saturated hydrocarbon these are the alkane okay now if the bond in between carbon and carbon double bond then the compound are said to be alkene and now third one if the compound in which bond between carbon and carbon triple bond then the compounds are said to be alkyne okay so these are the 
examples of the step chain compound or branch chain compound and both are aliphatic in nature both are aliphatic in nature means both are aliphatic in nature aliphatic in nature both are aliphatic in nature aliphatic in nature means when you when you burn this compound on the bunsen burner then you get the non sooty flame non sooty flame means no smoke produced by this compound then uh, then the compound are said to be aliphatic in nature so these are the examples of the acyclic compound or open chain compound okay okay now cyclic compound or closed chain compound or ring compounds so in which the examples are cyclopropane cyclobutane benzene these are the examples of the ring compound ring means closed chain compound okay now this compound further divided into two subclasses homocyclic or carbocyclic another one is the heterocyclic so what do you mean the homo and hetero or carbo okay so in the case of the homo homo means same in the ring similar atom same atom bonded with the in a, one another and to make a ring like a structure so home is same element or same atom okay carbo means same means carbon only carbo means carbocyclic means in the ring only carbon carbon like this in the ring only carbon carbon okay okay in the ring only carbon carbon present in the compound that compound are said to be the carbocyclic or homo homo means only carbon 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 okay in the ring only carbon carbon present in the compound then compounds are said to be the carbocyclic or homocyclic but in the case of heterocyclic different okay hetero means different atoms or element other than the carbon atom in the ring that compounds are said to be heterocyclic compound now here we have to explain at first the homocyclic now so homocyclic or carbocyclic further divided into again two subclasses so here what alicyclic compound or aromatic compounds so what do you mean the alicyclic compound or aromatic compound so alicyclic compounds are cyclic okay compounds are cyclic means close chain all are close chain but aliphatic in nature here yeah, the term aliphatic in nature means when you burn this compound on the bunsen burner then they produce non sooty flame they produce what non non sooty flame non sooty flame is a smoke less flame a smoke less flame you get so these are the alicyclic compounds are cyclic but aliphatic in nature so these are the alicyclic compound carbocyclic compound or homocyclic but okay alicyclic compounds the example are the cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane okay these are the examples of alicyclic compound these compounds are cyclic but aliphatic in nature so this way you can classify a cyclic compound closed chain compound or ring compound okay here another one is the aromatic compound so what is aromatic compound so aromatic aromatic compound aromatic compound at first the compound in which ring at least six member carbon atom at least six member carbon atom okay like this six member carbon atom okay six member carbon atom in the ring so first criteria now second one alternate single or double bond present in the ring alternate single or double bond present in the ring and third one when you burn this compound on the bunsen burner then you get the sooty flame sooty sooty flame sooty flame means a smoke a smoke flame a smoke a smoke flame dark cloud 
or black smoke produced by this aromatic compound then so this compound then our compounds are said to be the aromatic in nature aromatic compounds now these aromatic compound further divided into two types benzoid aromatic compound and second one is the non benzoid aromatic compounds okay aromatic compound aromatic compound further divided into two types benzoid aromatic compound or next one is the second one non benzoid aromatic compounds benzoid aromatic means in the organic compound benzene ring present in the compound okay benzene ring so sometime one benzene ring sometime more than one benzene ring present in the compound so these uh, compounds benzoid aromatic compound further divided into three types mono cyclic aromatic compound mono means only one benzene ring and what is the functional group different functional group okay different here the benzene ring different functional group here methyl group here the carboxylic acid group amine group nitro group aldehyde group chlorohalo group halogen so here the chlorobenzene phenol okay hydroxy benzene benzaldehyde nitro benzene aniline methyl benzene or benzoic acid so these are the mono cyclic aromatic hydrocarbon means only one benzene ring present in the compound and one is the functional group or other substituent now second one is the bicyclic aromatic compound bicyclic means two bi means two or cyclic two benzene ring bonding with each other like the naphthalene and this also fused condition so biphenyl this way this structure is the biphenyl in the fused structure okay and this is naphthalene now third one tricyclic aromatic compound means three benzene ring bonding with the each other there is anthracene okay anthracene is a linear tricyclic structure and the phenanthrene is the angular tricyclic angular tricyclic now in the fused condition terphenyl this way three benzene ring bonded with the one another okay and connected with the one another that is the terphenyl in the fused condition okay so this way benzoid aromatic compound we can classify it now non benzoid aromatic compound non benzoid means what in the ring less than 6 carbon atom sometime more than 6 carbon atom in the cyclopropanyl cation here only 3 here only 5 okay not 6 less than 6 carbon atom present in the ring okay so cyclopenta dienyl anion this or cyclopropanyl cation but here the cycloheptyl trienyl cation here the more than 6 carbon present in the ring here also more than 6 carbon present in the ring okay but sometime less than 6 or no alternate single or double bond present in the compound that's why they are known as the non benzoid aromatic hydrocarbon so this one is the tropolone this is the azulene this is a tropone okay seven carbon here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 carbon okay but not here are the six membered carbon atom in the ring that's why they are the non benzoid aromatic hydrocarbon so in this way we can classify the aromatic compound aromatic hydrocarbon now heterocyclic compound heterocyclic compounds are cyclic but hetero hetero means in a cycle not only carbon present in the ring you can see here oxygen in the ring in the ring the compound in which oxygen present in the ring nitrogen present in the ring sulfur present in the ring means the element like nitrogen oxygen sulfur present in the ring then the compounds are said to be heterocyclic compound heterocyclic okay element like nitrogen sulfur oxygen are present in the ring okay not only carbon here here carbon carbon but oxygen present so these are the examples of the heterocyclic compound hetero now heterocyclic compound divided into two types alicyclic heterocyclic compound or aromatic heterocyclic compound now alicyclic heterocyclic compound compounds are cyclic compounds are hetero cyclic heterocyclic means in a cycle not only carbon atom present 
other element other than the carbon like the oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur present in the compounds are the heterocyclic compound or ali. Ali means aliphatic in nature. Ali, alicyclic. Compound are cyclic but aliphatic. Aliphatic in nature. Aliphatic in nature means when you burn this compound on the Bunsen burner, you get the non sooty flame. non sooty flame means a smokeless flame produced by these compounds. Okay, so these are the examples of the alicyclic heterocyclic compounds. Now these are the oxygen, this to carbon. So oxygen, we have the oxalone, tetrahydrofurane, these are the these examples of tetrahydrofurane, and this is the pyrolodine. Okay, now the tetrahydrothiophene. This compound is the tetrahydrothiophene. You can see here. Now, aromatic heterocyclic compound. Aromatic heterocyclic, heterocyclic compound, but aromatic in nature. Aromatic nature means alternate single or double bond. Sometimes one benzene ring. Sometimes here yeah, less than also carbon, less than six member carbon, but aromatic nature. Aromatic nature. They produce the sooty flame when you burn this compound on the Bunsen burner. When you burn this compound on the Bunsen burner, you get the sooty flame. Means a smoky flame produced by dark cloud, a smoke, black smoke produced by these compounds. Okay. So these are the examples of the aromatic heterocyclic compounds. Are aromatic, but hetero element present in the compounds. So these are the heterocyclic compound aromatic heterocyclic compound now this is in the pyridine this is the quinoline isoquinoline we have the position of the nitrogen change so quinoline and here the isoquinoline okay the para position quinoline here the meta position nitrogen here so here the isoquinoline the furan thiophene and pyrrole these are the examples of the aromatic heterocyclic compounds in this way you can classify the hydrocarbon okay classification of hydrocarbon okay i hope that this video will help you for your study thank you thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon thank you so much